Yes, on our prior video of the Sandbar Love uh, Memorial Day 2021 videos, uh, right before we head out, I noticed that one of these were loose. And uh, what I did is I put it back in where it's supposed to be. And uh, I tried to do the best I can to tighten them up. But it looks like after we left the dock, uh, it might have fallen off in the ocean somewhere. But um, it's really difficult to find. But we did um, without them and we used clevis. All right, it turns out that I was calling the pin clevis pin but it, uh, it turns out that I was uh, pronouncing it wrong but uh, here's the correct way to pronounce it it's actually clevis here it is clevis clevis all right I just wanted to make that clear clevis clevis spins and uh, they seem to be working fine so let's see how they work I guess we'll have an update uh, in the future These bolts are all headless, so I have to try to get them out. There we go. The uh, Phillips head is completely gone, so we have to pull them out and replace them. So that's one down, one more to go. They're not easy to come out because they have 5200 on it, so it's uh, a little bit hard, but not impossible. But, uh, after about 25 minutes or so, we've been working on these screws here. Uh, three of them had no head, no uh, hex, uh, not hex, but um, Phillips head was missing completely so we had to uh, hit it from one side and push it to the other but uh, we're gonna go and replace them all and get it ready for our next video all right um, taking off these screws uh, some of them were really tough to take off um, some of them the uh, head was uh, corroded off and we had it we had to uh, hit it one side to take it out from the other uh, I think what made it worse than anything is the tightness and the space going in from the inside of the uh, engine compartment to take out and on, 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 um, uh, loosen up the uh, nut from the inside. That was what the hardest part. Uh, I think the total, taking it all off completely, it took us like about, say about 30, 35 minutes. It wasn't that bad except for the uncomfortableness of working inside the engine compartment. All right, here's one of the uh, screws. You can see that uh, that head right there on that side I don't know if you can see it well there but uh, that head was completely corroded completely there was nothing left there and this is the other side where the uh, hex nut goes actually a uh, not a hex but a one of those um, lock nuts so these here are the brackets we took off the ladder in place and the screws all right we're gonna have to uh, run out to the uh, hardware store and get some new bolts and uh, nuts so we'll be right back with the new stuff Right, we're back from uh, Ace Hardware here in Tavernier. A good place to go and get all the hardware you need. They always have almost everything you need. Uh, we got all stainless steel brand new bolts so we can reinstall everything back from that to brand new bolts. They didn't have any of these 
and uh, they call them roll pins and um, this one is like three inches long by three eighths of an inch round. I couldn't find them anywhere so what we did find is I think they call it the clevis pin. What it is it's a pin same size three three inch by three eighths but it has a little hole at the end so what we're going to use is a little cotter pin and uh, just put it in there and hold it in place and see how that works since we don't have uh, anywhere to find these. So if anybody knows about these roll pins, uh, where I can get them, um, uh, put a comment below. Appreciate it. All right, before you put the bolts in the holes here, you have to make sure you use something like 5200 or 4200 and uh, make sure you put enough inside the holes before you put the bolts in. You wanna keep the water out from those holes. All right, after you're done with the job here, if you get any 5200 on your hands, this stuff is really sticky and it's really, really difficult to remove. The easiest way to remove it is using some alcohol. You use some of this, spray it on your hands, in a little paper towel and you can clean everything up really easy because it just goes out better than the soap. So make sure you clean your tools because uh, if you leave that 5200 in there like there's a little bit in there if you leave that in there it's going to be really difficult to dig it out so you might as well clean it now before it gets hard so make sure you clean all your tools with that alcohol it'll come off really easy. You gotta get in there so you can get all that 5200 out. Otherwise, next time you use this uh, socket, it's gonna be really tough to use. It seems like it's doing the job. Just wonder if it'll hold in place. Here's that new pin here and the cotter pin on this side. Uh, cotter pin was a little difficult to uh, put since this moves around a lot like that. You would have to put uh, uh, vice grips on this side and turn it and then get another pliers on the other side and open up the cotter pin. That way it won't slip off. I think 
It's gonna work fine. Just gotta test it out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, put the camera down so I can do this side here. All I do is open up the cotter pin on this side. And uh, to be able to do that, I need to hold the vice grips on one side and then get the pliers in, open up the uh, cotter pin. All right, here is the uh, way I'd have it here. This is the final. Uh, this could turn, but uh, it won't come off. I think that'll work. We're just gonna test it for the next uh, several boating and uh, see how it works out, but I think it's fine. I don't think it'll go anywhere. The ladder's working fine. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh, legs on that cutter pin there, like the other one. just fine. Probably better than the original ones. These pins, couldn't find them anywhere here so we had to do something else. And I think it works just fine. 